What 99% of people don't know about making money online? Over a decade ago, when I was preparing to go into the business world, one of my business teachers taught me, wherever people are, money is there. In other words, people are money. Understanding this simple concept has helped me more than many other concepts I have learned over the years. The funny thing is that my teacher didn't teach me that it's possible to have all these people you need to make all the money you need right in your room. Today, I run a media company that have audience in more than 30 countries and that is only possible because of the internet. I run another company that sells our products nationwide. This is only possible because of the internet. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what 99% of people don't know about making money online. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now think about what my teacher taught me. People are money. Whenever you see people, you see money. If you don't agree with this statement, think about where most companies of the world locate their headquarters. Especially in the last 3 to 5 decades, where physical goods and services were the only thing you could sell. It's usually in the cities because that's where people are much. People are money because people have needs and wants and by figuring out what people want, you can easily get them to pay you. Now, what if you can see all these people in a single room? Wow. If there could be a magic that can bring a billion people together in the same room, since we've established that people are money, you being in that room should make you a millionaire, right? Wrong. Today we have more than 3.5 billion people in the same room and yet, most people are poor even though they are in this room. Today, if you watch this video, you are in the same room with 3.5 billion other humans who have tens of needs. If you are watching this video and you are broke, I think it's your fault. Not knowing that people are money If we've established that people are money because they have needs which you can meet and make money off and that in today's world, we have over 3.5 billion of people in the same room through the internet where everyone can reach everyone, why then do we still have many people who are poor? The answer is simple. Most people still don't know that people equals money. If you know the people are money and you know that there are over 2 billion people on Facebook whom you can reach and solve some problems for, then you should not be poor. If you know that people are money and you can read the stats about billions of people on YouTube you can sometimes reach without pain, just hard work, then you should not be poor. Before now, when I walk in a city and see thousands of people, I usually tell myself this is money. I usually ask myself, how can I serve these people and make money from them? If you continue asking these two questions, even without the internet, you will be rich. Now, in the era of the internet, the question becomes, how can I serve just a few of this multitude? Now that I can see and reach a billion people from my room, how can I serve just a few thousands among them? If you're smart and you continue asking these questions, I don't see why you should be poor. But there's another problem. Most people don't have anything to give. In a previous video on this channel, I explained that the best way to get is by giving. The math is actually very simple. Until you figure out how to make someone else's life a little easier or better, until you figure out how to serve someone, no one will throw their money at you. You have to give before you get and every resourceful person has something that others need. If you don't understand this concept, let me share with you a few examples that might inspire you to discover what you can give others to make a lot of money on the internet. Let's start from the phone or a laptop you're using to watch this video. Such device as these are very useful because they give you the opportunity to communicate with others everywhere in the world. Right there is another tool that helps you and that's data. A few other accessories also go with this device. All of these help you and make your life better and that's the reason why you were willing to drop money for them and that's how the companies that produced your phone and laptop make a lot of money. If they didn't give you something of value, 
you won't give them your hard-earned money. That's a little complicated, so let's look at something simpler. The social network sites, the search engines, the video platforms like YouTube, all these are helping you in some enormous way. Through them, you could get entertainment, education or even connections. That's why you visit them every day and it's by your visit that these giant companies make billions of dollars. Maybe that's even complex for some people to understand. Look at something simpler, information. In the year 1937, Napoleon Hill published a book called Think and Grow Rich. Any book is just the paper and ink but this book has sold 33 million copies and still making money today, more than 80 years after it was published. We can say similar things about how to make friends and influence people, 7 habits of highly effective people, many great novels and even evergreen music. These are not physical products but people are willing to pay for them since they serve them in the form of education or entertainment. This example even becomes crazily better with the internet. For example, I have more than 5 books I've written and selling as you watch this video. Of all these 5 books, I only published one as a hard copy. In fact, I later discovered that people are willing to pay more for the soft copy of my books than for the hard copy. As long as your book or information help people solve any of their problems, they don't care whether or not you don't spend a dollar to produce the information they are buying. These are only a few examples. You can sit down and list 100 human needs and ask, is anyone using the internet to sell these products or services now? The answer is yes. In fact, I once read about some people who were selling stones via the internet. You won't believe this but it's the truth. Again, if you have the opportunity to know a room where 3 billion people live and you're one of those in this room, nothing in the world should make you poor because people are money. If you're resourceful, if you know or are willing to learn how to create something that people need and sell, then the internet should make you rich because here you have 3 billion people to market to. How I'm powerful than the richest man in my country I once heard an interview of the richest man in my country. He was complaining about the fact that a certain country didn't allow his products to be sold in their country. But here I am, I run a media company that reach people in more than 20 countries and can reach any other country I want at any time as long as they use the internet in that country. You see how I'm more powerful than the richest man in my country? That's the wonder of the internet. Let me leave you with a few tips. 1. Understand that people are money This is the most important point in this video because if you understand that people are money, knowing that there's a room where a billion people live will make you restless. You should not sleep until you figure out how to serve a percentage of the billions of people in this room through the internet. 2. Change your consumer mindset when I got to know about Facebook, my first concern was, can I sell through it? When I got to know about how popular YouTube is, my first question was, how can I create videos that people would like? Consumers don't think that way. Instead, they think which social media is more interesting. Theirs is to consume so they are not thinking of how to serve people and make money from them. Start thinking, what can I sell on Facebook? How can I make money via Google? How do people make money on YouTube? Look into the search engines and learn, then practice, practice and practice till you make your first dollar online. Try again and again till you make your first $100 online. If you keep on trying and learning, you'll one day start making $5 to $10,000 every month online. 3. Don't expect quick results even for those who know the enormous opportunities on the internet, having to wait for a whole year before making money is what they could never do and I'm here to tell you the truth. If you don't have one or two years to wait, you cannot build any meaningful business anywhere, either online or offline. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you 
inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.